What's up YouTube, this is Mr. Z Guy and today's tutorial is going to be on how to make uh, an intro in 4D Cinema. This is uh, going to be a basic intro. Alright, let's begin. So, what you want to do is uh, go on the first tab and click the plane. And you want to make it so 9,000, no, over 9,000. Keep going. Alright, so basically this covers the plane floor with a uh, lettering is going to be. So you want to go on the second tab and add text. Add whatever you want, so I'm just going to write Mr. Z Guy. And you want to hit font and pick a font that you want, so I'm going to use the Batman Forever. Okay, so yeah, it's not 3D yet, so what you're going to do is go over here where the cube is and hold it and go to Extrude Nerves and get the text and drag it until the arrow is pointing down so it makes it 3D but there's no depth so to make depth go on extra nerves and hit 80 so makes depth so you see wanna run down this out to see how it looks alright oh yeah I forgot it's add a sky so add a sky alright so I go to extra nerves and what you want to do now is hit Control and C, so it copies and Control V to paste it again. So go to Extra Nerves and type in 40. So what you'll see now is that it actually gets cut in half. So want to go to Caps and fill it Caps, fill it Caps, and drag this a bit back. So you see, it's like that. Okay, all right. So if you want to render this out, I'll show you how it looks. Yeah. Alright, let's add some color. So I want to you just want to double click over here. Makes a new material. Alright, so let's make a black side to it. And add whatever color you want. So I'm gonna go to gradient. Uh-huh. So click this, double click this, pick a color that you want. So I'm gonna do blue. So let's go here light blue. And on the other side, you want a dark blue. So, right there. So, it looks a bit like that. And you want to go to color, texture. You want to copy the channel, go to luminancy, and paste the channel. Okay. And brighten the reflection. And get the reflection to be 50%. And that's all you want. Now, you want to drag this in front. You can either drag it or just drag it up here. But it's a bit nice to see it like this. Alright, so it's like that. Let's render it out. See how it looks. That looks like that. Pretty nice. Now, to make it much better, I want to go to output. And this will render the video to make it look nice and HD. So, 720. And you want to go to effects. And Ambition and Occlusion and go to 170 and 40 and whoops, I'll take 400. Now you want to go effects and add another one called Global Illumination. Alright, so this will take a lot of time to render, so I'm going to render it at the end, so make sure you do everything right. So you want to add a light, so go a bit up like that. A bit up. You want to go to Shadow and Soft. You want to add a color. Now you want to add a color similar to the main color that you put. So I'm going to put a light blue like that. And you want to go to intensity and make it 50%. Alright. Alright, now we're going to add another light. So what we're going to do is just click this. That's going to add another light. And on this light, you're going to want to drag it. So if you can't see it, you can just scroll this a bit and move it. Alright. Now you want to put it up a bit. And you want to go to color, do the same thing, make it a light blue. Or whatever color you're using, just make it light. Whatever color you're using. And you go to shadow, maps, soft. Alright, let's render it out. Let's see how it looks. It's going to take a little while to render it too.
Alright, you see it looks pretty nice with the shadow and glossy. Looks pretty realistic. Alright, now we're gonna go to the camera section. Alright, what you're gonna do is go with lighter than hold it and select the camera. Now what you're gonna do is go on over here on the left and click cameras, scene cameras and camera. Now what you're gonna do is you can do whatever you want, but I'll show you a little example of how to use a camera. So what I'm gonna do is just go here. Alright. Zoom in a bit. Alright, make sure well I'm gonna make this two hundred fifty frames. Hold on. Alright, so what you're gonna do is go hit the first frame and you wanna click this, this auto locks. I mean auto frame. When you go to the next frame, it'll just move automatically to that next frame. So um, this is the first frame, so I'm going to go to the 30th frame. Actually, go back to the first frame, and I'm going to move this up a bit. Hold on. Alright, now what, I'm going to go to the 35. I'm going to go 35, and zoom in a bit. Zoom in until the end. Now I'm going to go to 60 and look down. This. Just like so. And I'm going to go to frame 85. And I'm going to make the camera a bit over here. Hold up. I'm doing this very roughly so it's not gonna maybe not like look really good. Alright. Now you wanna go to frame hundred fifteen. And I'm gonna move this here. And I'm gonna go to frame hundred thirty five and zoom out. And make it to the middle. Right up here looking down a bit right over here and whoops we go to frame 160 uh, actually no 170 and this frame is going to zoom in all the way into the middle and like that right So let's look at it from the beginning. Yeah, very roughly done, but you, know, you get the idea. So yeah, that's how you make a basic intro. And here, I'll show you the render settings. So go to render. Go to output. Make sure it's a 1280 by 720. And do all frames go to save or you're gonna want to save it somewhere so click over here and so you can name it whatever you want so I'm just gonna name it to uh, intro one like how it says and save it I'm gonna go over here and AVI movie options and Intel codec whatever it's called go to anti analyzing go to best and animation this will make it not pixelated so now you want to go and hit this or just shift R and it's going to be rendering it so I'm going to show you how it looks at the end the results